Hi guys, Camilla here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have for you another quick and easy card. Very colorful, very fun, perfect for summer. And I will be using this gorgeous stamp set from close to my heart uh, called Tropical Paradise. So what I did first is I used some Nina Solar White cardstock to die cut this beautiful panel. I used Sunshine Layers dies from W Plus 9. And now I will be stamping my images from the Close to My Heart stamp set and creating some ombre look with my Memento ink pads. I really love the scallops on this uh, die from W Plus 9. And you probably noticed that I use it a lot lately. It's just because I don't have that many uh, frame dies just yet. I'm getting there though, because I really, really love uh, the effect that um, those stitch frames uh, give. And so I stamped out first beautiful image from that stamp set. And I used Bahama Blue and uh, Danube uh, Blue. And now I'm standing this gorgeous flower on the other corner. And as you can see, I could mix the red and yellow for the stamp. And I really love how easy it is when you use these uh, tiny versions of the ink pads. Uh, because you can get into those tiny areas on the stamp. So now I'm stamping out the smaller image from the set. And for now I'm using um, Bahama Blue. And now I'm going to start my ombre effect. So here I'm using Pear Tart and Bahama Blue. So I'm going to mix the green and blue and create this lovely uh, ombre. And then I'm going to go towards the warmer colors. So I'm going to mix a blue and green, green and yellow, yellow and orange, and then orange and red. Um, the closer I get to the flower. And kind of creating a little frame from all the images within the already uh, die cut scallop frame. Uh, I thought that might be fun because I'm going to stamp a big bold sentiment in the middle, also including the ombre effect. And now I have my panel ready, I'm going to stamp a big bold sentiment in the middle which says Happy Wishes and it's from W Plus 9 uh, stamp set called oh, Happy Wishes. And I'm going to also create the ombre effect and here are the inks that I'm using to create that sentiment. And I'm actually going to use Bahama Blue, Perp, Tarte, uh, Dandelion and Tangelo because I wanted to uh, create the ombre that is kind of opposite to what you see in the frame, meaning that the blues will be on the left and oranges will be on the right, unlike it is on that frame, if you <laughs> get my drift. So that's the panel I've created. I've created actually two of them. And now I'm gonna show you how I finish off my cards. So I'm gonna add a little more to the sentiment, which will say many happy wishes for you. And I'll do opposite color combinations so that the colors don't clash. And here are the two um, beautiful panels. I really love the colors and those images from close to the, my heart. I like the Hawaii kind of tropical look to those cards. And here, as you can see, I'm gonna use another image from close to my heart stamp set which is a surfing board. And I'm gonna also create the ombre effects and I'm gonna add it to the uh, card base, just on the edges, so, you can, so they kind of peek out from underneath the front panel. And you can see the color combinations I'm using on the screen. And I will also list them in the description down below with the links to the uh, products in shops. Thank you. 
And now with all the surfboards stamped out, I'm gonna try out how it looks like with my uh, front panel. And I do love it. <laughs> um, I love how colorful the card is. And now I'm just gonna add some fun foam with uh, uh, add some double-sided tape. And just to pop up the front panel, add a little bit of dimension to the card. And that's how the first card will look like. And for the second card, I just basically added my front panel with scalloped edge onto the uh, blue card base. I just used some double-sided tape without any uh, bulk whatsoever. And to add a little bit of something, I just added glossy accents on one of those biggest uh, kind of splashes on the top corner. And I'm using a needle just to remove some of the glossy accents that went uh, across the, the line on the image. And that's how it looks like with the glossy accents on. I really, really love the look of glossy accents. I think I'm a little slightly addicted lately to that gloss and sparkle. Speaking of sparkle, I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, Wing Stella. It's a clear glitter pen on some of the images. And that will finish off my cards for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and the colorful cards. And I have for you just one more thing. I have some great news for you guys. I reached 3000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. And as a thank you, I have a, a little giveaway on my blog. And you can win some uh, Spectrum Noir sparkle pens and other crafty supplies. So hop over to my blog post. There's a link in the top right corner right now or in the description below. And fill out the raffle copter. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.